Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of straight lines. And in this question, we have been told that there is an equation of line 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. We have been given for this equation of line, it meets x-axis at point A and y-axis at point B respectively. Further, we have been given there is one more line perpendicular to the given line 2x plus 3y equals to 12 and passing through a point 5, 5. And that line, whichever is there, it meets x axis at point C, y axis at point D. And this line also meets the given line AB at point E. So E is nothing but intersection point of the two lines which are perpendicular to each other. And further, they have told us O is the origin of the coordinate axis. So O is 0, 0. And we have been asked to find area of quadrilateral OCEB, which is formed after this. So we need to find the area of this entire quadrilateral which is there. Let's understand how do we solve this. So first of all, Let's try to plot the two lines and find the equation of this line also, which is perpendicular to the given line. So first of all, if I try to plot this line 2x plus 3y equals to 10, 12, and find the intersection points of this line, which is given with respect to x and y axis. So we get our two points A and B. Let's do that intersection first. So first thing, if I draw the two lines, we need our coordinate axis with us. So one is this coordinate axis and the other coordinate axis is to that as well. So your other coordinate axis is this. Now, we know already this is your x axis, this is y axis. X axis is 1, 2, 3, 8, 6, 7. Why you have 1, 2, 3, Five, six. Again, here you have this origin. Oh, this one. This is your minus one. So this is your negative x. This is negative. Now, I already know one point out of this in the plane that is given to us. O is the origin. So writing it in two. O is your origin point. Now let's try to plot the first line given to x plus 3y equals to 5. So if I try to plot that, I write it in form of y equals to mx plus c. So 3y is equal to minus 2x plus 12. And y, if I want to find out, I'll divide throughout by 3. So I get minus 2 by 3x plus 12 by 3, that is 4. Comparing it with y equals to mx plus c. We get the slope of the line is minus 2 by 3. So, because the slope is negative, it is a descending line. And C, we know it is 4. So, basically, it is intersecting y axis at 4 because y intercept is 4 here. So, y axis it is intersecting at 4. This is your point B because it is intersecting y axis at B. Now, let's also find out where this line intersects x axis at. So to find the point of intersection with x-axis, we'll put y is equal to 0 in this equation of line. So put y equals to 0, our equation becomes 2x plus 0 is equal to 12. 2x is equal to 12, x is equal to 6. So we get this point of intersection with x-axis is 6 comma 0. This is our point A. So we have point A also, we have point B with us. Now let's draw a line. Now if I draw this line, this is our line 2x plus, this is our line 2x plus 3y. This is our line. 
Now let's to try to find out a line which is perpendicular to this given line and passing through the point 5 comma 5. So now we already know one condition that for two perpendicular lines product of slopes has to be minus 1. So product of two slopes is equal to minus 1. If I want to find the slope of the new line, I know the slope of the original line already from the equation that it is minus 2 by t. I put that this one upon minus 2 by t minus cancels, you get 3 by t. So slope of a new line which is perpendicular to the given line 2x plus 3y is equal to 12 is equal to 3 by 2. And we also know that this line passes through a point which is 5 comma 5. This is x1, this is y1. Now I can use an equation of line here to find my new equation. y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. y minus 5 is equal to slope here is given 3 by 2 x minus 5. So you have your 2 multiplied by y minus 5, 3 multiplied with get 2y minus 10, 3x minus 15, 3x minus 2y and minus 15 if it goes here becomes plus 15 so it's equal to 5. So our next equation is 3x minus 2y is equal to 5. Now if I find the point of intersection of this line 3x minus 2y equals to 5 with respect to x and y axis. So if I put, let's find out x is 0. Intercept so minus y is equal to 5. So y is minus 5 by 2. That is minus 2.5. If I put y is equal to 0, get x here. x is equal to 5. x becomes 5 by 2. So we already know this equation of line which intersects x axis at point C. So your point C becomes 5 by 3 comma 0. Your point D is intersection of this line with y axis that is minus 2. So 0 comma minus 2.5. So we already know C and D now. So C is 5 by 3. 5 by 3 is, let's divide that and see. If I divide 5 by 3. 3 1s are 3, 3, three 6 are 18. So you get 1.6666, which is roughly around 1.7. So it will be somewhere here 1.7. So this is your point C. Let's do it with a different. Line. This is your 1.6700, or I can write this as. 3 by 3 comma 0, your point of intersection is minus. And D is also known to us, that is minus 2. D is 0 comma minus 2.5. Now let's find the value of E also here for this equation. First, let's draw this line. I draw this line, which has to be positive. So this is your line which is perpendicular to each other and we already know that the point of intersection of these two lines is nothing but e. So let's try to find the value of E here. So if I try to find the coordinates of E, I already know that the equation of this line is 3x minus 2y is equal to So we now know that if I want to find the point of intersection E, I just need to solve these two equations. If I solve the two equations, I'll get the values of X and Y. So let's try to find that. So if I try to find out the point of intersection, that is E. One is your equation, that is 2X plus 3Y is equal to 12. The other is 3X minus 2Y is equal to if I make any one of the coefficients same, let's say if I make it 
for the y it is same. If I multiply this by two here, it becomes one into six minus zero. And if I make here also y same, multiplying this the log by three gives me nine x minus six y. Solving this, adding will get thirteen x is equal to three. X becomes three. And if I put x as three here, y becomes three y is equal to five. So we get the coordinates by the point of intersection of the lines that is a comma. So our point E becomes a comma two. Now let's try to find the value for which we have been asked. We have been asked to find the area of this entire quadrilateral OC. Area of quadrilateral OC. I want to find that, and I can find that by applying the idea that area of triangle OAB. So I am taking this entire triangle minus I will have to do this triangle. So area of triangle OAB minus area of triangle CAE. Area of triangle OAB I already know it is half into base into height. The base is OA and height is OB. For CAE, half into it is perpendicular here for this triangle, so I can take this as the base and this as the height. So half into AE into C. I already know this half into OA. OA is nothing but the distance of this. That is x coordinate of A. That is six. And OB, if I see, it is zero comma four, so this is the height. Ah, we don't know AE and EC, so let's first find the distance of this AE and EC. So first of all, if I find AE, it is six comma zero and three comma two. So if I want to find distance between any two points A and E, where A is six comma zero, E is three comma two. We already know distance between any two points is given by the formula x two minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square, and it is in the root of that entire expression sum. So I do that. I get it. X two minus x one so three minus six that is minus three the whole square. Two minus zero that is two square. So you get this as nine plus four. So we have a e with us that is root of thirteen. Now let's try to find e c. E c is five by three comma zero and three comma two again. If I find e c here, e is three comma two. C was five by three comma zero. Again by the same idea, root of x two minus x one the whole square. Y two minus y one the whole square that gives me five by three minus three the whole square and zero minus two the whole square. So this gives me five minus nine so minus four by three the whole square so it is sixteen by nine. This gives me two square that is further it gives me sixteen plus thirty six fifty two by nine. So square root of nine we already know it is three. Fifty two I can write this as thirteen and the four. Square root of four is two out. Two root thirteen by two. So we have this height with us. So E C becomes two root thirteen by. Two. Now we already have this with us. A E is root thirteen, and this is two by three. So two two gets cancelled. We have here two ones are two two are again. Six twos are twelve. And here we have thirteen by three because root thirteen into root thirteen is nothing but thirteen. Twelve threes are thirty six. Thirty six minus thirteen that is twenty three by three squared. So we get the area of the quadrilateral which is asked to us that is OCEB. And that comes out to become twenty-three by three squared yards. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of question where straight lines are involved.
and we need to find the area of any given figure. It may be a quadrilateral or a triangle. Okay. So how to solve this? First, we figured out for this equation of the line, the slope and y-intercept. And from that, we also find, found out what are the points of intersection of this line with x and y axis. So we got a and b. Then we found out the equation of line which is perpendicular to the given line passing through 5 comma 5. So once you found out that equation of line by using this idea, we again found out the point of intersection of the new line with respect to x and y axis. So we got c and d. Then we found out the intersection of the two lines. So that gave us point E. Once we got E, just found out the area, subtracting the area of triangles. So we found out area of this triangle minus area of this triangle that gave me the triangle that was 23 by 3 squared. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your family and friends who are also involved in the platform of JW. And the correct answer for this question, if we see, is option B. So I'll sign off from the video today. Thank you.